Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shutter or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 13 of Sky Factory 1. And today we are going to be messing around with this, the whole saving system. I went ahead and just made uh, six crafting machines off camera. So this way we don't have that back, uh, that buildup in the Packager thing that we tried last episode because, you know, that wasn't going to work fully. Um, but we can do this. So. You don't know what these are basically all you need to do is put in a recipe okay just like so and you'll see if it's a proper recipe it'll display here and all you need to do I don't do these need power they probably do need power so we'll have to figure that out um, but you throw four in here and if you had power provided it will immediately you know craft this into one tin or chunk or whatever right so first things first, I want to actually make sure we export everything properly rather than worry about the actual power right now, right? I want to make sure we get everything going here. And I'm going to connect all these before I start exporting out of these because I can just, you know, disconnect all the connections we need before we start. And it looks like I'll need one more pipe, exactly one more. Um, and I'm trying not to use cyclic cables anymore, by the way. This is because they are quite underwhelming. They don't really do as much as the nor the other pipes, even though the, the uh, pipes, P-I-P-E-Z mod, pipes, um, is a little bit more expensive. Honestly, I think they're better. So we're going to worry about those, right? So let's see. So I think I need some iron. Uh, dispenser, I think, so like, or dropper or whatever they're called. So let's just look at pipes. Item pipes. Yeah, we need two droppers. I couldn't remember dispensers or droppers, whatever they're called. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used a dropper. And I, if I have, it's been a hot minute just because I don't ever really mess with, you know, any other mod. Do I need one more? Do I need one more packager? Did I not... I must have missed one. That is fine. I have exactly one more crystal. Crystallized amber. So let's just uh, grab two pistons. Gotta go grab wood from over here. And yes, I did make an animal pen thing. It looks like that fox is going to be killing chickens, but that's okay. I don't really care about the chickens. If I need a specific animal, I'll, you know, kill off the fox or whatever, but for now... All right, let's just grab some of those. Uh, sooner or later, we could do like a wireless item upgrade or something, or like wireless item transfer node thingy to actually get, you know, items from over there to over here if we needed to, but I'm not 100% sure if we need to do that right now. So yeah, okay, so we need two of these, another piston, uh, some slime balls, And then the packager or crafting machine, not packager, packager. All right, so we can just put that here, right? And now we should just be able to hit each one of these. Maybe if we can sneak that one right there, it's awesome. All right, so now what we need to do is actually program the crafting recipe into these. So let's just do that real quick. It's just all four. I'm just going to do the top left corner because that doesn't really matter. Oh, I don't know if it's, let's see. So what's, what's the button for removing? Okay, just anything. Doesn't really matter what you use apparently, which is fine. Um, all right, so anyway, I think for now... We can grab some energy pipes. I don't know what I have. Mm. Okay. We can make the more expensive ones. That's fine. And these are quite expensive. And I, I wasn't joking about that. Like, they are the more expensive ones. Alright, so let's see. So we could actually run these off of the cyclic pipes. And all you do is that. So the, I mean, yeah, I could definitely use cyclic pipes. They aren't going to be as efficient or whatever because they aren't running purely by themselves, but 
All right, let's mine this block. There, there, and we can just do that. And we'll just run this up here to get all these side ones. Oh, no, nope, not what I wanted. Of course, we'll have to run one up there as well. So we can just disconnect these from the side where they don't really need to be connected. Okay, so that should be every one of these connected and we can just do always on. All right, so always on, always on, always on, always on. All right, so these are gonna take time, of course, because they aren't really that fast. Um, which is, you know, kind of obvious with how slow this is. And I mean, it does have a time, so it's like, what, like 40 seconds? Yeah, it's like 40 seconds between each craft, which I mean is going to be fine, uh, but it looks like we don't have enough power because these are losing power significantly. All right, so I think it might be time to do something. Okay, so you can see I have expanded this as well. Like, I didn't really mention that, but I have expanded this. But I think what we need to do is actually divide the power system. We need to have a power system purely dedicated to the actual saving system. And just like we did previously, basically, this needs to be separate. We need to have those machines over there and the machines in that house all run on a separate network and probably these as well. These aren't really high power, you know, generating or power using machines. So I'm not too worried about these being on a saving network. But as you can see, I did like run a cable from the base to here because this wasn't getting enough power and it still isn't. So we need to figure out something. And I think what I want to do is I want to build a platform to the right of the house down here, like underground. I'm not going to build a platform above this because I don't think I really need anything above it. But I want to just put gen or dynamos and some crucibles over here. I want to basically make a version of this, but just for the power generation of the the sifters and all or the, the auto sieve system basically. So but I'm not hundred percent sure if this is gonna be that system or if I just move. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, right? Alright, so we're gonna make this quite long. It's basically going to be the size of the houses underneath the platform. Of course, we need some torches, so let's go grab those before no, it's too late. So let's see here. So let's grab torches. Where are my torches? Do I not have any torches? Let's go make some torches then. And I probably will need to move these drawers, the uh, actual dust drawers and stuff, because they seem to be a bit in the way. Because uh, it's going to be hard to, like, grab diamonds and emeralds and stuff out here. But maybe. We'll see. All right, so we can just press F7 and start lighting this up. All right. But, yeah, so I think... How do I want to do this? Because the problem with the sieving system is those wireless transfer nodes really aren't the best. Let me be honest, Cyclic's whole power system, item transfers, you know, liquid transfer isn't the best. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I've seen better, you know. Um, I like a lot of the parts of the mod, in all honesty, but some of them give me concern just because it's kind of difficult to, you know, do anything with Cyclic heavily i guess it's it seems like it's more of a basic like starter kind of mod for power and energy and logistics you know logistics logistics so we might have to start steering away from that and just using purely the newer you know, like pipes and things and whatnot but i guess we'll see Alrighty. so with leaving one on the edge um so basically the inner part, this lengthwise is 20, and of course this is three, but so we have a 20 wide available area, okay? So what that means is we have, you know, a little bit of leeway to place quite a few crucibles. Um, 
but I'm not 100% sure if I want to do just crucibles over here or if I want to just put, you know, half and half, like half dynamos, half crucibles. Because, I mean, like, this isn't using a lot of lava. Like, you need a lot more dynamos than this to actually use as much lava as I'm making. So what I'm thinking is maybe we just transfer some of these current ones, like these two maybe, and just pipe the fluid over to like 20 or so dynamos and then take the power from those. Because I mean like, or we also have the option to, you know, augment these things um, to make them a little bit more full, fuel efficient like this one. This one is still, you know, outputting power constantly and it, you know, it doesn't seem to be using that much power, right? So, I mean, we could focus on that. But these, again, are Signalum. And that is going to get expensive. Because, you know, you need redstone, copper, and silver. And over time, that will, you know, cost quite a bit. And, of course, these have Signalum in there, too. So, I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't know. I think what we can do is we can make... Where did that one go? So let's put a mark on that and a mark on that. What if we make four generators, maybe five, push the limit to five, and we then take that, we take five of these dynamos, we fill them with three of these per, so uh, 15, and then five of these, okay? That would get expensive. Also, you need like some sort of glass, right? You need like hardened glass, which I means not that bad. We could definitely get that. Um, okay, so 15, five, and let's go from there. All right, so let, I'm going to go make, I'm going to leave all these dynamos. I'm not going to make or leave, take any of those. I'm going to make more um, of them. And uh, we will see from there. Uh, so let me be right back. Let me make those, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so I've got the dynamos made. I've got the upgrades. I'm about to actually put the upgrades in here. There was one I was missing. I used it in the multi-servo press. All right. So now we should have everything we need. We can actually disconnect this pipe. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Got a parrot apparently. Hello parrot. All right, so these pipes can actually get destroyed. Just gonna jump up here and jump up here. I don't really want to lose too many of these cables because they aren't cheap per se, but uh, I think we're going to do that anyway. Okay, and I'm not going to do wireless just because it isn't actually that efficient. So we're going to see about that. Alright, so then we can do all of this and I'm gonna just run that cable basically again but it's gonna come from this area rather than that area all right so let me get some more of those let me actually run all the cables and I'll be right back with you alrighty so I've connected these up and already we can see that these are gaining power so actually five generators is producing more than every single one of those down there, I believe. That sounds a little unbelievable. I'm not 100% sure if I believe that myself. Um, but let's go check here real quick. Uh, I need to, I think I might put like a row here, like kind of just like connecting this so we don't have to worry about it too much. And we can put the holes here and here. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we have, and we're still got an excess of power. That's a thing. Okay. And if we knock this end thing off, and I don't really want to lose this one. 
but I guess we'll live if we do. Okay, let's see if that is keeping up. Are we still having plenty of power? Cool. We could probably also look at getting better tier, um, or like actual upgrades and stuff for the energy pipes and things, because that means they can produce more power and the pipes can accept more power and stuff like that. So we'll look into that as well. I know we'll need tinkers for that, I'm pretty sure. So that might be a future episode maybe. But I'm not going to really use it for ore doubling or anything. I'm okay with doing it with machines. Alright. So let's see here. So... They're all keeping up. It looks like they're all keeping up. So in theory, that is the best way to do power. And now we should put upgrades in every single one of them, right? Um, not too fast. Not too fast. Because that's going to take a lot of resources. And it looks like this should still be doing good. Okay. So, but yeah, this thing has full upgrades. Like, I think this is already tiered as max as I can get it, right? Besides, like, you know, the, the augment, actually. Because we could do, like, Enderium. I mean, that isn't that expensive. I mean, I could probably make a few Enderium upgrades. Not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna do that. All right, but yeah, that is going. That is pretty quick. I got an extra pipe there. I don't know why. I don't know. Um, but since we actually know that these actually have enough power to hold it, I would really be curious to know if we could actually double this system sometime. Not like right now, but sometime. Um, if we just added like four or five more. And just made you know fifteen up more og or yeah fifteen more upgrades and fifteen more you know component things. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, this isn't connected. We need that connected. Is that not going to be able to transfer? Why is that one not? I'm gonna break this one. It's probably a very bad idea, but that's okay. Where's our copper drawer? Where did that, oh, it's behind it apparently. All right, let's pick that up. Anything else get copper? Hopefully not. Okay. And then make sure it's like going through. Okay. Energy cable. We don't really need this side connecting. I think the power thing for this one's broken. Unless like it just isn't getting any power down here. Because there's just like a lack of power. Oh, it's it's staying powered. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like this stuff is losing power. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let me figure out something. I'll be right back. All righty. So I, I, I spent a few minutes looking at cyclic, like the actual pipes here, trying to figure out if, you know, if there's any configuration to actually do. Uh, it seems like you can't actually do that. The whole like cyclic pipe to um, pipes, energy pipe. It seems like you can transfer from cyclic pipes to the actual energy pipe, but not the other way around, right? You can't go from energy pipes to cyclic energy pipes, which is a weird thing, but that's what I figured out. It looks like everything's still powering itself. Um, 
We might need to introduce more generators or more dynamos. And I might just steal some from that side, the side over here, just steal five, get some more upgrades and go with it. Um, and I've also managed to disconnect that. And I guess I've never had that connected for the longest time. Okay, cool. Anyway, all right, so these are packaging. We are going, this thing is cruising. Now what we need to do is basically have an ore doubling system. So for example, the whole pulverizer setup in here would probably not be a bad idea to start moving that. So let's see, I don't actually have a pickaxe. Mine did proceed to break. So let's see. Get ourselves one of those. Alrighty. Let's break this, break this. Yeah, that's got full of stuff, so I'm not gonna break that just yet here. But all right, so the pulverizer, we'll put like center here. And the golden chest, which is where everything is gonna go into. And then the redstone furnace. I don't think these really output anything else, right? Or am I wrong? Okay, so they do output other stuff. That's why that chest is there. I wasn't 100% sure if that was like just the other items I've been throwing in there or not, so I wanted to be certain. All right, so let's take as much of this stuff out as we can. I'm just gonna go throw it in the drawer. Where did my apples go? There they are. All right, so let's just uh, go to the drawer, do that. I'm not actually gonna keep this gravel on us for right now, just because, you know, might as well. And we can put some of this cobblestone away, some of these planks away. That should give us enough inventory space for the rest of this. All right, so we can take this now. And we'll figure out cleaning up the wall and stuff in a little bit. All right, so let's go downstairs. All right, so what we'll do now is grab item pipes. We need more of these. I picked these up out of actually the end chest there. So it seems like this thing has been picking them up for a little bit and just random here and there, so. All right, so item pipes. And I'm hoping this will just pull out the pieces, not the actual, or well, the chunks, not the pieces, but who knows. All right, so it is doing that. All right, so we need the energy cable from here to come down here. There's that pipe gone, that sucks, but that's okay. All right, so here to here, bam, bam. And then we'll need like a diamond chest or something to just output, I believe, right? So there's there's not like, yeah, we don't have anything that could teleport stuff from a distance right now that I don't think we'd really want to use. Or well, it's a make, I guess, because it would be quite expensive. Like the item transfer node thingy would be quite expensive. Yeah. All right, so let's make a diamond chest here all right and then there's the gold or gold chest here we go all right and then why is there a skeleton or something Okay, there's a skeleton on top of my house, which is a bit odd because it shouldn't be up there. Why are you up? All right, run away. That's a bit odd. All right, let me grab a sword, eat my apples.
Wait for my health to go up a little bit before I do that, actually. Where'd he go? Did he fall? I guess he fell. Okay, cool. I don't really know where he came from. I guess I'll have to look around for, you know, lights and stuff. It looks like these are not having enough power. Yes, this is struggling to keep power. That is awesome. Hmm. How are we going to deal with that? Well, I guess more dynamos might be in order. Or something else. Hmm. All right, whatever. We'll figure it out in a second. So we'll place the diamond chest here. Not there. What in the world? You wonder why that happened, by the way. It's because it's block reach on this chest plate. I picked it up out of the uh, one thing, but I did not know I could place that far away. Apparently I can. I honestly haven't really thought about that. So, uh, yeah, kind of startled me that I was able to do that for a second, but then I realized, oh yeah, I have this awesome chest plate enchantment that I really not do not use because I kind of forgot. Let's go back down here real quick and do something else real fast. Let's just do this. And, uh, um... Is it because these are running out of power? Like, are they, am I straining them? No, it's just these are not able to... 256 FE attack. Okay, so there's the problem. Let's see, so item... So pipes. They have the basic pipe upgrade. Let's grab a couple of those. And let's see where we can go from there. So we got sticks and string. I think we have string in here. And then I think we have sticks on us. So yeah. So we just need five of these. And the only way to upgrade these. Oh, actually. We don't even need thermal. Or tinkers. We can actually just do it with thermal. I might actually consider that. Okay, let's see how much these transfer with just this, right? So we go from 256 to 1000. Okay, let's see if we can actually conquer anything with this upgrade in there. If not, we can actually go make the better ones pretty quickly. I mean, I probably should just make them in the first place, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so yeah, these are definitely draining power now. These are like super, super empty now. Are we able to keep up with this? Okay, we are. So there was the issue. I guess if I wanted to, I could definitely do... A better upgrade so what that actually means hold on now that I think about it is that one generator that we have over here could really use something it's like a very basic item where is it at right here right which one is that so this one could use that that's awesome. Okay. And yeah, I love how all of these are basically full now. These are basically overkill. So yeah, we could start taking them and switching them to that power. Honestly, probably not the worst idea. I probably will do that between episodes, in all honesty. Um, that one is having a little bit of reserve. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that. If they are... If everything is still going... And everything is staying powered. I'm 100% fine with using every bit of power out of those. So these are still going. These are still good, right? You're still cruising. You're still cruising. You're still going. You guys are getting power too. That's getting power. Okay. I mean, that's fine by me. Everything seems to be getting powered. Um, real quick before we end the episode. I had a comment... And I'll try to throw it up on screen here. Um, and if I forget, then I kind of sound like an idiot. But as somebody mentioned that you could actually take this Inferium Essence, or, you know, whatever tier Essence you have, and come over to these. And you can see I tested this. Um, 
and basically you just knock the seeds off and you can actually right click the farmland to get inferium farmland which i'm guessing i'm not 100 percent sure is a comment it really didn't say um or to my knowledge didn't say that this makes it faster or anything but i'm hoping this makes it faster as if this makes it faster i'm 100 percent down for you know a little bit more inferium and all of that jazz so uh, we can actually just throw these back in the sower let those get planted up and we just you know keep on doing this eat an apple eat another apple I really do need to like get a wheat farm or something going maybe I'll do that between a camera like between episodes because that's not something that's like super intriguing because it's like I'm literally just making another plant sower gatherer thing it's not like I'm doing like an inferium farm or anything um so who knows maybe we'll do a between episodes I'll have like a wheat farm set up and maybe we can have like an automatic bread thing I don't know if there's toast in this or not but I guess we could figure that out I know in Sky Factory 3 there was toast. Alright, okay, so now we can just throw in our seeds in here. And let that go back to town. Awesome. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. We can look up Inferium, or just like farmland. Eek, I guess you can make the stuff. Uh, so Inferium farmland. Let's look this up real quick. Inferium farmland. So let's see. This says it increases Inferium drops, bonus seed chance, bonus essence drop, if the farmland is the same tier as the crop. All the info is in the guidebook. There's a guidebook? <laughs> Hold on. At Mystical. Oh, there is a guidebook. Hey, um, yeah, hey guys, there's a guidebook. Um... Do I feel like an idiot or do I feel like an idiot? Maybe I feel like an idiot. Okay, yeah, look at this. So there's a secondary chance, 20%, and Ethereum output, 100%. Okay, I'm okay with that. So uh, we're going to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.